Professor Grabowski, thank you much for this kind invitation. Thank you much for your time. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in Krakow. Um, could you tell us more about Jagiellonia University's help to Ukrainian students after uh, February 2022? Um, thank you for uh, visiting us, Dr. Pietrzak. It's a pleasure to host you. Um, as, uh, we we've been uh, we've been in, in, in contact for a long long time, and I highly value your academic expertise and also your active engagement in, in popularization of knowledge. Um, Ecolonian University going to the uh, content of this of this issue of this problem has been pretty active in providing support um, support that was coordinated um, um, top down level and bottom up at the same time. You, the building uh, we've been in, it's a building um, of the Faculty of International and Political Studies that have become a center uh, for redistribution of uh, aid for Ukrainian refugees right after February 24th. So uh, we uh, were gathering all the staff downstairs, um, uh, people from, from Krakow were, were delivering it and then other people, whoever was willing to do so, uh, were, uh, were transporting it to the border um, initially. Uh, to the border, there's many, many scholars from, from here were well, also engaged, ma engaged many students. Um, initially, it was to the border. Some of the students were also uh, going um, through the border, so they were going to Ukraine and trying to uh, provide support, um, in-kind support mostly, uh, behind, the, behind the border. Um, that has changed, um, of course, and become more institutionalized. Um, as the conflict uh, conflict developed, so after after a couple of weeks, this uh, central storage for um, in kind aid, so all the all the goods that could be useful for Ukrainian refugees, uh, were moved to another building that's close to close to here, and we, as the university or university authorities, started to uh, design different forms of support for students and scholars from. Uh, from from Ukraine, so in institutional uh, in uh, in institutional terms, um, uh, the university decided to provide um, flexibility for students from from the Ukraine, uh, with um, they needed to um, have more absences, leaves, etc. Et uh, also, if um, they were paying for their programs, which is um, Typical for Polish universities if you don't have Polish heritage um, and you're a non-EU student, which is the case of the Ukraine, um, there is uh, all the tuition fee applies. So that was that was uh, that was um, put into its installments, delayed sometimes, and abolished. Uh, then um, there was special uh, scholarship funds created. Um, the schemes were available for the Ukrainian students that left their country after February 24th um, and they are uh, either from JU own funds uh, or uh, we got some support from external agencies and to large extent private donors were also supporting supporting those those students um, then uh, or those funds they are still ongoing and uh, next rounds of recruitments are ongoing as for uh, providing accommodation they've become an urgent need initially uh, JU decided to open um, some of um, unused dormitories and uh, devoted totally for Ukrainian refugees. This is what uh, what 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 happened. Followed by uh, also allowing students to host their families in regular dormitories. Yeah, so um, we have more 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 people, but. And then, um, as um, adaptation became also important issue, uh, JU decided to provide Polish language courses uh, for free for uh, for Ukrainian students, and also um, Franciszek Jeka, or uh, a scholarship fund was uh, was was created, mm, followed by a program for Ukrainian doctoral students. Um, we um, are. A research university supported additionally uh, by the Excellence University Initiative, and certain part of the funds of Excellence uh, University initiatives were devoted to support 
doctoral students and their projects um, in Poland, as well as uh, Ukrainian scholars. For Ukrainian scholars, uh, we were uh, able to host them for one year initially, providing them uh, full-time employment and the research fund for, uh, for each of them. Center for International Studies and Development is hosting one professor from, from Ukraine uh, that is using this financial scheme, so she's employed using this uh, research money of the Jagiellonian, uh, Jagiellonian University. And then um, gradually we, uh, we uh, also um, searched for funds, external funds like um, Solidarity or Solidar with the Ukrainians uh, with Ukraine or a residential program for young Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian citizens that is supported extra by external external funds. All this combination allowed us to at least partially support our guests friends from from Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you very much for this explanation and I I hope that uh, the situation will stabilize. Thank you very much for our unending collaboration and uh, on behalf of Impsaton Standing Think Tank, thank you very much for, for your time and it's been a pleasure. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to, to host you here and uh, uh, use this opportunity to share uh, our experiences with, uh, with you and also Impsaton Standing Think Tank. Thank you.